700,000 each year, 2,000 every month, 1 per 40 seconds, and 11 during my speech. This is the number of teenagers who commit this suicide. They are my peers who, had, who hadn't even lived one third of their lives because they haven't they, because they hadn't a, a lot of energy or something inside of them to cope with the stress and negative emotions which were in their lives. I will say more. Nowadays, by the researchers, there are 45% of the teenagers who are in depression. Usually, they cannot cope with a lot of stress which, is, which, is, which they gain from the community and usually it is a problem for them. For example, nowadays it is usual to say that every generation are not the same. But the problem that every time the teenage person between the years of 12 to 17 thinks that it is the most hardest moments in his life. Because in these times we are choosing our destiny, our future profession, friends and all the people who will surround us during our life. It makes a lot of pressure and also the people who are surrounding us as our environment, especially our parents, family or teachers, they make the most important, most important moments and give us some advices how we should do this. Sometimes these advices are becoming too much and oppressed us. Moreover, are more stressful and thinking more negatively than the generations before. It seems that nowadays we are too much thinking about our problems, maybe something which we cannot gain and it makes us feel unhappy. But I want to say that it, it, it's not like this because our parents sometimes were teenagers also and they had the same problems. Our grandparents and the great-grandparents, all the generations before us, did the same thing. So, now I want to say uh, that me, uh, I am preparing for the university as all of my another peers and I think it is for the now it is the one of the most greatest tasks in my life, for this moment of my life. And I want to say that people who are maybe older than me say that it's not a great trouble. You must not think about this like it's a great challenge in your life because it will be more and more. I try to comprehend them, but for the one moment I want to say that for the adolescent who nowadays are prepared, who is preparing for the entering to university, it is the most important thing in his life. But for the person who, for example, graduated his university and now is seeking a job, it is the great fear that he will one day stay and find that he couldn't try, who, he couldn't have a job anywhere. For the young person who is uh, living, having a job, but do not have a great family, his own little family, which is happy, it is like something mysterious, and he is afraid that he couldn't manage with this. And the same thing for us, for teenagers who are now trying to cope with all the problems and combat with negative emotions inside of us. Um, furthermore, I want to say uh, that for the lot for the hundred and hundred years uh, there is a one great chain. Usually we listen that a parent of some boy or girl can say, I want you to be a doctor because in my childhood I wanted, but for the some reasons I became, for example, a businessman. Another mother can say for her daughter that I expected you become a writer because I really wanted to be a writer also in my childhood but my family or my parents didn't accept me. This is a great change and sometimes it seems like it wouldn't finish anytime. 
So my first wish will be for the my peers. Dear, please try to stop this, to halt this chain and promise yourselves that when you will become an adult and you will have your own children, do not do like this. Allow them to be that person that they really want. And for the adults, I really want to say that please do the first step towards us because an adult person once was a teen, but we, our teenagers, have never been adults yet.